myself for getting that in. <laughs> anyway, let me know. What's that too, Courtney? Hey, I hope to help you on your ukulele journey, so if I do, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks to everybody that has subscribed. And ring that notification bell because it helps spread the ukulele love. Speaking of ukulele love, this was a patron request, and I do have a Patreon site. And for just $3 a month, I try to give dynamite rewards, even at a very low level. In addition to giving great rewards to my patrons, I have charity goals tied with my membership goals in Patreon. Help me get ukuleles and ukulele instruction into the hands of folks that really could use it. Please and thanks. Let's go over the chords for this song. You're going to need an E minor, index finger on the A string, second fret, reaching over with your middle finger to the third fret of the E string, and ring finger goes on the fourth fret of the C string. You need an A minor? You might want to play it with your index finger. I play mine with the middle finger, but uh, I'll talk in the chord transition section about how this might be helpful for you. You can also substitute an a minor 7, look ma, no fingers on the chord in hand, if that works for you. It works in this song just fine, no problem. There's a D. I play mine with these three fingers stacked in here. You have to elevate your hand up towards the headstock to get that to all fit in there correctly. I have suggestions on the D chord. You don't have to do it just that way. I'll link it up here and down below. It's a short, less than a minute. There's a G. I play them with the bunny foo-foo fingers, like that. Then my ring finger takes up the third fret on the E string. There's more than one way to play a G, so um, play around with it. There's, you can switch these fingers around too if you like. They all work. The strumming pattern that I like to use for the intro and the verses and the chorus is a two beat strum. You're simply going down, down, up, 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 down, Works really well. However, if you want to add some style points to it, you could on the intro, and then also any time where you have that hip hip part, take the D and make it a down up down up, and it'll sound a little bit more authentic as what Weezer's doing. So, like this. E Substituting a chuck for the second down. The bridge, by definition, is brand new material, so why not change up the strum when you have some brand new material? So let's just do down strums, four on each chord. So it's D, two, three, four, and G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. Easy peasy. And it has, you know, make it a hard driving strum. Down, The last line has a hip hip added to it and you need eight D's at the very end and the hip hip comes in on number seven. Sounds like this. More, two, three, four, one, two, three, hip, hip. And then you go into the interlude just like that. Like my shirt? I like it too. I purchased it on Amazon. I'll have a link down below for it. I do what I call a cheat in order to make chord transitions more smooth. My, one of my patrons said, don't call it a cheat, call it a hack. What word should I use? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll show you how it works. I am going to substitute an A minor 7, the open string A minor 7, in between each of the chords on the up strum of the two beat chord. So it looks like this. Down, down. If you 
like another song that uses that kind of cheat or hack, it's a heartbreak that was made famous by Bonnie Tyler. I'll link it up here and down below. If you want to get better on the ukulele faster, get rid of your ukulele and do some mental ninja. In your head, take this repeating chord structure of E minor, A minor, D, and G, and do air ukulele. You don't have to pick up the ukulele just to practice that a few times. You know you're in the shower. E minor and A minor and D and G, and you can practice that hack of A minor 7 in between it as well. Just spending a little time helping your brain to rewire what it's got figured up out here into your hands so that you can do it. Because you know, playing ukulele is a multitasking event, and so you just want to build that nervous system highway a little bit stronger, unloading the dishwasher, take a break, and play your air ukulele. It's mental ninja. Weezer is an American rock band, or they're considered indie, and sometimes they're even called geek rock. Yeah, and when you see the, they kind of uh, exaggerate that in the way they dress and look at times. So they're out of L.A., and this was on uh, their Green album, and this song didn't make the cut for the band. They, they didn't really want to do this album, but luckily they were working with the legendary Rick Ocasek, and um, do, you, do you know who Rick Ocasek is? He's, he was the lead singer, kind of the front man behind the cars. So um, anyway, he was producing this record and said, guys, you got to include this song. So yay, Rick, we wouldn't have this song if it weren't for you. So are you a Weezer fan? I can't say that I'm really familiar with their songs. Maybe if I listened to a few more, I'd recognize them. But um, I'm certainly familiar with the Cars, so if you've got a Cars song or a Weezer song that you think I should do a tutorial on, let me know. One, two. One, two, three, four. Hip, hip.
did you do? Did you like having this at a slower tempo than the um, up-tempo ones, which are totally available on YouTube? There's uh, Ukuleleans has one, Aldrin Guerrero of Ukulele Underground has one. So, you know, if you need something up-tempo, I'll, I'll link them down below. All right. Love to hear how you're doing on your ukulele journey. I get to all my comments. It may take me a few days, but I'd love to hear about it. In the meantime, take care and spread the ukulele love.